Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I, I don't even know how to start this because this is this was your this is your thing. You talk yes, about this. This is Soulified that we're playing. It's another Psycho game like uh, Cannon Spike, and it's also kind of hard. Uh, as you can see, it's for the uh, the PS One. Yeah. Um, I had never actually heard of this game until you you told yeah, me. Yeah, it was it. actually a pretty late release on the PS One. I think it was like two thousand one or two thousand two. Wow, that is late. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty small release. Well, I mean, Cannon Spike was a really small release, so... Um, do we want to sit through this, or do we want to... No, it, it is, like, flying over a wasteland. Okay. Then we're going to ignore that. Uh, it's like you present a game. With CG modeling. Oh, CG bits. And a dead guy. <laughs> That's that's a very well rendered dead guy. Bird. That's not a very well rendered giant Cloverfield monster. No. So like like Cannon Spike, this is a shooting. Yeah, it's a it's a shooting game up hard hybrid. This one's not 3D like Cannon Spike. This one's 2D, so it's more. Yeah, it's a side scroller. More, more gradius. So, but it's interesting. I, I gotta just uh, dig around with it. So let's let's do this. Um, you're, oh, okay. Yeah, you're player one. So you you set up however. So we have arcade and original. Original is like arcade, but more RPG-ish. That they added a bunch of crap to it. No. Yay. And like, uh, about the same difficulty. Cannon Spike. Yeah, like Cannon Spike, the, the difficulty starts off at level 1, which is Monkey. <laughs> so easy a monkey can do it. Uh, and very hard. And very hard would in fact rape us, wouldn't it? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so I think we're gonna go with very easy. I mean, you were telling me that the only difference between a lot of the difficulties is... Because, I mean, you get unlimited continues. Yes. So the only difference between the difficulty level is how fast your magic recharges? Pretty much. Awesome. So yeah, let's just do it on very easy, because uh, I, we don't need to take up too much time doing yeah. this stupid stuff with waiting for magic. And I think we need to press it. There we go. Alright. Um, I'm going to be the kind of homoerotic guy with a katana. That's Vorg, and I am Tirona. Tyrona. I don't know. Pronunciation. Yes. We, we play Final Fantasy XI. Screw pronunciations. We're just going to throw in random apostrophes and other random tidbits of grammatical incontinuity. Alright, so as you can see, you get a melee attack and you get a shooting attack. That's really about it. The shooting attack is still tough. I just stick with melee because I like to beat things with sticks. It's... Alright. We have choices here, but because they removed all the cutscenes for the uh, English PS1 version, um, it doesn't really matter. Oh, that was a dick move. Yeah, it's not like this could happen to the story. Yeah. The story is literally... Vorg is going after an evil army to stop her, uh, if the evil king. That makes no sense to me. But okay. You're speaking Greek to me. I'm just... I'm killing things. Yes. And, and getting hit. Uh, Tyrona made this game. So she's going to be for some reason. I don't know. She's also a thousand years old. Oh, well, she looks good for being uh, And like Cannon Spike, the levels are non-existently short. Yes. The main game is much more And the bosses are ridiculously short too. This is... It's what I like about the psyche of the games. Granted, I've only played these two and one other, but, you know. Uh... Three, three releases for any publisher? That's actually fairly impressive. Nowadays, uh, 
publishers are getting shut down after one release. The publisher who did uh, Geometry Wars Galaxies uh, just recently shut down. And that said, because Geometry Wars Galaxies was amazing. And Clover, yes. It's like, Okami was Game of the Year for how many different publications? And Clover got shut down by Capcom? Spells confuse me. And I'm pressing the wrong button. Ice seems to be the most damaging, because it just. Yes. On difficulty, like one or two, um, at the rate in your magic recharges, you can just cast freeze, and by the time the enemies are unfrozen, you can cast freeze again. Oh, that's. It's pretty nice. Being beaten by harpies. Oh, I die. And I notice when you continue, you don't lose your the power ups you got. Uh, you lose your oh. I will light them on fire. That is would be what I can do. And on the upside, with uh, YouTube's new uh, limitless time limit, as long as we keep this under uh, two jeans, we're, uh, we're good. Two gigawatts. Eight point seven. Uh, what is it? One point seven gigawatts. I forget what the actual number is. But yes. Jigglebots. But this is a short game by Ken Spike. It's only going to take about 15 minutes. Yeah. Tops. So here we are entering Hell Island. And if you're a kind of single player, this is the point where you start um, having to restart the stage if you get a game over. Like so. Like so, because I didn't hit the enemy fast enough. Magic to destroy them all. Because magic also stops their bullets, I've noticed. Yes, well, there's also a spell that just stops all bullets for. Oh, this thing. This fifth one. Oh, hold on. Light him on fire! Or just cast death. Or just cast death. Death is a person. Uh, and I die. Creepy jellyfish of death. I got more magic. And a minotaur! Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, he's hitting you with a giant axe, so. And fire! Fire! Burn him to death! Burn him to death! I've got nothing funny to say about this. This is actually kind of fun. I figured I'd be having lots of smart aleck remarks about this game, but I've got nothing. I forgot. What the? Who the hell is that? It's a stone. It's the hardest place. Oh, well then. Alright, I'm 
dead, so I'm gonna come back quickly. <laughs> and just in time for you to kill the boss. <laughs> and we're now in Hell Land. Oh no, still Hell Island. Okay. It's like we went from Hell That's... Island to Hell Land. It's like Disney World to Disney World. Oh, and uh, here's the Hokey uh, Gift. That is a cool sword. Yoink! This is the final stage? Yes. Oh! And it's nothing but boss fights. Well then. <laughs> I just absorbed all of his fireballs because I was still there. I don't know what Nightmare is, but it was kind of cool. Burns! Fire burns, giant dragon! And giant dragon's dead. As long as we keep dying in a staggering pace, we're fine. And Because old guys are really the, the final boss. You've got to look out for those geriatric bad guys. Let's set them on fire. Well, that Always. was... And it's still in Japanese. That's... You said this was an English release. <laughs> yes, th this was an actual English release. I think they, they dropped the ball somewhere. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> At least with Cannon Spike, they took out the word. <laughs> yeah, th th they still messed up a little bit of the long solution, but they, they dropped. Yeah. They even refixed uh, Nash's name. Back to Charlie. Yeah. Charlie. The guile that nobody liked. Wow, that was that was an impressive playthrough. <laughs> uh, oh boss! Hydra? Let's we can look at the bosses. Wyvern. Yeah, it's not a dragon. It's not a dragon. Dragon Rider. Evil God! He's got a goatee. So evil. Dark Knights. Eh, I like Dark Knights. Sandworms. Weak to death. <laughs> From Dune. Minotaur. I had no idea that was a skeleton. Stone Griffin. Heard your sleep. Vowels. Uh, Efter. Not after, but after. He after good. Oh, that was just... That was... <laughs> that, was uh, that was my bad fun. So, Finn, yeah, that was... That's it. Anything else you want to close on this one? Ah, uh, no. That was... Alright. Yeah, this has been uh, Marauder X uh, and Culix. And Culix brought you, uh... All of you wonderful people, Soul Divide. Mm -hmm. I hope it's divided your souls. This as it should. I, I don't know. <laughs> I got nothing. Nothing. Alright. See ya. Later. Later. See you next. No!